Nestle has been founded by Henry Nestle, a Swiss pharmacist, more than 150 years ago. Nestle Malaysia Berhad has been operated as an investment holding company and it has two segments which is food and beverage and others that include nutrition and Nestle professional. Nestle product can be categorized into coffee and beverage, culinary aids or prepared food, milk, liquid drinks, junior food, breakfast cereal, chilled dairy, ice cream, chocolate and confectionery. Some example of the Nestle product is like Nespre, KitKat, Milo and others. Currently, Nestle has the branches in all Peninsula and West Malaysia, with the head office is located at Petaling Jaya, Selangor. So as you can see here, this is the organizational structure and this is the board director or the top management of the Nestle Malaysia Berhad. The first HRM activity of Nestle Malaysia is staffing. In this company, the recruitment process is done through website and offline application, which is interview. Basically, Nestle Malaysia is looking for local people to be recruited and develop with local knowledge. Interestingly, they also provide a promising career path to the fresh graduates through a two-year management training program as a preparation for them in the future. Besides, Nestle Malaysia also encourages the involvement of women employees to ensure that there is a gender equality in this company. Reward and Benefits In order to ensure the loyalty among employees, Nestle Malaysia offer many benefits through their total reward policy. All of the rewards are given based on the employee's performance and efforts to achieve the organizational goals. Nestle Malaysia also provide medical insurance to the employees and their immediate family members also. Besides, Nestle Malaysia also emphasize the payment of wages and salary through the collective bargaining and freedom of association Nestle culture. The third HRM activity of Nestle Malaysia is performance appraisal. Basically, the performance appraisal in this company is assessed through three ways which are experience-based approach, relationship-based approach, and employment-based approach. In the experience-based approach, the employees must be able to carry out their job well and meet their personal development through working experience in Nestle. Next, in the relationship-based approach, the employees must participate actively in creating a harmonious working environment with the other employees, so it will give a positive impact to the other employees' performance too. And lastly, in the employment-based approach, Employees will be assessed from training and conference where employees will be given training to enhance their working skill and increase their working competencies in every year. The last HRM activity of Nestle Malaysia is training and development. In this company, the new employees usually will go through the My 100 Days program where it is a comprehensive program for all new employees to help them to get started at the workplace. Besides, there is also a mentoring program which will be implemented for 12 months to give senior leaders an opportunity to engage with the young generation and lastly, there is also a coaching skill based workshop in Nestle Malaysia. The objective is to equip line managers with practical coaching skills and to help them to have a better understanding in managing their career development in Nestle. Next is SWOT analysis of Nestle Malaysia Human Resource Management. Personally, one of Nestle's most significant asset is its brand image. As we all know, Nestle has a number of brands, including KitKat. However, Nestle's strength are enhanced by their marketing as the company has a well-known brand name and an effective strategy uh, for catering to the preference of all types of consumers. Uh, Nestle market their product in a variety of ways, including radio, television, newspaper, uh, billboard, and other forms of advertising in order to boost sales and create a brand in the mind of customer. Uh, the other strength of Nestle is its large financial resources which enable it to invest heavily in research and development as well as marketing. Uh, so, Nestle will be able to improve its innovative technology for new product creation and apply them to the market. Therefore, Nestle also has a significant global preference in terms of both production capabilities and market share. This is due to their goal which is to improve their cutting edge training also while providing them with world-class facilities. Yeah. Secondly, the weaknesses of Nestle is performance evaluation. According to Jenkins 2000, this is due to an issue with appraisal officers providing unreliable and inconsistent performance appraisal. The issue is that the evaluation is unjust and the appraisal is unjust. In addition, the Nestle company's weaknesses is the internal worker. This is because they want to recruit an employee and the employer has spent a significant amount of time and effort to finding the right worker and complying to all legal requirements.
So as a result, during the hiring process, uh, Nestle tend to hire workers from from within the organization because this this employee already have experience and the wages offered is lower. However, it will uh, have an effect on them because the current worker will not be able to have new ideas. That's because internal workers have to work in the same environment for a long time. Uh, the next weakness is Nestle planning, planning process. This is because Nestle has many types of products, so this is due to recall the quality of each their product. Therefore, managers who place a high priority on production will more certainly determine simply on the basis of production result. While quality production in a product is given less consideration for creating application, so from that we can see that they want to produce a new one product but it will bring side impact if they did not try error to research and development their product first. Explain uh, on the opportunities and threat of SWOT analysis of Nestle Human Research Management. First, we have effortless marketing strategy. By becoming a well-known brand among the Malaysian people, Nestle does not have to make any extra advertisement of their product. Most of the people already consume Nestle products for every single day. Next, we have improved product quality. Financial strength of Nestle also can be used to improve their product quality. As been said by Shazwani earlier, Nestle can invest a lot in research and development activities. They can hire more specialized workers in research and development departments to increase their product quality. Lastly, we have employees will get better training and facilities. Nestle has a lot of branch all around the world as it is an international company. Because of that, the employees can speak up for their rights to have a good training working environment as the other branches. Nestle Malaysia for sure will feel the pressure from the situation. By who or by crew, they need to ensure that their employees' training and working environment is following the current development. Next is threat. First, we have dissatisfied employees. Unreliable and inconsistent performance appraisal will lead to unjust valuation for the employees. This will occur injustice among the employees. Employees must be evaluated equally among them so that the HR manager can identify which one of the employees qualified to be promoted. Next is limited ideas. As we know, hiring internal workers can save a lot of costs to recruit and train new workers. Unfortunately, an existing worker are less likely to give new ideas than the new workers. This method is feared to make the company left behind from the other companies. It is impossible to the companies to keep compete with the others. Lastly, we have highly competitive market. There are so many big brands that already come up with the new product that have similar function and use. It is better for the Nestle to keep improve their product quality in terms of production and come up with a better product that will catch people's attention to keep consuming their product. Next is the recommendations. First, make use of employees' feedback. Employee is the best resources in the company, so they know the operation uh, from A to Z. Uh, sometimes they have better knowledge uh, than the top management does. This is because uh, they are more closer to the customer, so then they know the details of the customer likes and dislikes. Uh, the top management can make use of employees' feedback uh, as they listen to their suggestions and ideas of the employees. Uh, added to that, the top management can take note uh, the name of the person who give the ideas. Uh, this way, the top management can acknowledge their, this person and give rewards. Uh, if the ideas become successful. Second is the organized team building exercise. As we all know, Nestle is a big and well-known company but they must have some employees that have a great potential but they don't know how to make the first step. Uh, they might be shy or have a low confidence or level. So the team building uh, is a way uh, of the employees can build the teamwork, spirit, trust and the confidence level. Maybe there are certain people who do have a time to get know of each other. So this is the time. Uh, in addition, the team building is a way of releasing the stress as they can get out. They can go outside of the work uh, and have fun. Maybe after they went uh, to this team building program, they can get uh, they get the fresh idea uh, to improving uh, the companies. Last but not least, uh, a low team uh, autonomy. By giving the employees autonomy to do their job, uh, indirectly the top management let them know that they trust and know the employees' uh, capability uh, towards the job. Moreover, by giving the employees autonomy occasionally uh, leads them to make mistakes or decisions. So in this way, they can learn from their mistakes and figure out uh, the new ways uh, to make things right. The employees uh, also can make 
these opportunities as their experience uh, so that if they occur the same situations they can pass, they can face it calmly and efficiently uh, they also uh, a study found that the higher levels of auto- autonomy uh, a working experience the higher sense of uh, job satisfaction and well-being uh, the more you allow them to be autonomous the more productive they become so as a conclusion nestle has always produced a better quality of product to customer in order to achieve its vision to be a leader in nutrition, health, and wellness company. Hence, to fulfill that, Nestle has been studying what customers and consumers want to reach its customer satisfaction.